I got an email from Dan, and he was wanting a circuit that used a LDR, that would say light-dependent resistor. And what he wants is, when he shines a laser on it, he would like it to operate a relay. Well, I couldn't find my LDRs. I'd be glad to order some. They don't cost very much. But I happen to have built something that turns on a diode when light hits it. And it uses an LDR, light-dependent resistor. And this is it right here. The knob is for sensitivity. And I originally built this for my darkroom, which, of course, is turned into a storage place. I don't believe I'll ever use this again. And here's the power supply. It's just a 12-volt wall wart. And here is the LDR. Okay, I've got it plugged in. There's no on and off switch, so it's just on. And you can see that the green LED is on. And we have a problem. This is the most sensitive here. And this is the least. But it's still on because I made this for the darkroom. But if I cover it up, it'll go out. So I thought, well, maybe something red. I couldn't find my red tape, so I uh, tried this. And that seems to work pretty good. And you can still hit it with a laser, and it'll come on. So, I got another one of these, and I doubled it up like that. So let's tape that on this so it'll be much easier to use okay now let's see turn this up okay we're getting the light from the lamp over here so turn down the sensitivity a little bit that looks like this is going to work just fine hit it with the laser and it's nice and sensitive got to hit it just right on the sensor of course if I was using a green laser I'd have some green tape there so looks like that's going to work. So let's open this up and see what I did many years ago. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And it's a little more complicated than what I remembered. Actually, I don't remember much about this because it's been 10, 15, maybe 20 years ago when I built this thing. And I did build it for the dark room, so it is pretty sensitive. So I sat down and drew out the circuit, and this is what the circuit looks like. It uses a 741 op amp, and one input goes to the LDR, and the other input goes to a voltage bridge. And that's the knob that I'm turning that variable resistor and I'm varying the voltage from 12 volts down to ground and as you saw in the video it works quite well and I got many hours of uses out of it and it has helped me to produce many good quality prints. Now Dan wanted to operate a relay well, the output of that 2N222 could be cascaded to another transistor 
that could operate a relay. That would not be difficult to do at all. Thanks for watching.